Hi, Anastasia. I'm Dr. Gray. What brings you in today? Well, I've had MS for the past 10 years. It's been progressing in the past year. And also in the past year, my shoulder has started to hurt, along with the bottom of my foot also hurts when I walk. Do you have any other health conditions that I should be aware of? Um, well, I take a beta blocker for high blood pressure, and that's really it. Um, can you explain when the shoulder pain started? It was in the past year, about. Past year. Is there um, any point that it hurts the most? Like, could you point and show me where you feel the pain? Um, it's on my right shoulder, kind of in the front and also on the side, like right around here. Alrighty. Um, is, does the pain have... Can you describe the quality of pain to me? Like, is it dull or achy? Um, it's pretty dull. Dull, all right. Does your pain radiate anywhere? It doesn't radiate. Oh, so on a scale of uh, zero to 10, 10 being the worst, like you need to go to the hospital, um, what's your pain level now at this moment sitting? Right now it's probably five. five. All right. And at its best? Um, three. three. And when it's, it's worst? Seven. Seven. All right. So during the day, um, when would you say you feel the pain the most? It's mostly in the morning when I wake up. It's pretty dull or it's pretty stiff and it hurts. Yeah, when I wake up mostly. All right. And because of this pain, is there anything that you're unable to do? Well, I work as a librarian and so I have a really hard time like reaching and putting books back up on the top shelf. Um, when I have to restock the shelves. And also at home, when I'm drying my hair, it hurts to bring my arm up over my head and putting away dishes, things when I have to reach my arm up over. Now I'm gonna take your blood pressure. What was it? It was 122 over. So I'm going to take your heart rate. Good job. Hi, Anastasia. I'm just going to do a couple sensory checks for you, okay? Okay. All right, so this is what you should feel. Okay. All right, now close your eyes. Let me know if you can feel this. Yep. Feel this? Yep. Feel this? Yep. Feel this? No. Okay. Feel this? Yeah. Feel this? Yeah. Feel this? Yeah. Feel this? No. Feel this? Mm-hmm. This? Yeah. This? Yeah. This? Yeah. Okay. And uh, one more time, so close your eyes. Can you feel this? Yep. 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 Feel this? Yep. This? Yep. This? Yep. This? Yep. This? Mm hmm And this? Mm hmm I'm going to check the bottom of your feet now, okay? Mm hmm So I'll have you close your eyes and let me know if you can feel this. Yes. This? Yes. This? Yes. This? Yes. All right. Keep your eyes closed. Can you feel this? Yep. This? Mm-hmm. This? Mm-hmm. This? Mm-hmm. This? Okay. So now I'm just going to move your finger and let me know if I just moved it up or if I just moved it down. Okay? Ready? So we'll practice on this hand. Ready? Up. Up. Down. Okay, and then we'll do it on this hand. Up. Middle. Up. Down. Okay. And then I'm just going to um, move your finger again, but now let me know when I move it, okay? Mm -hmm. So we'll start on this hand again. Ready? No. 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 Okay, and this hand? No. 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 Okay, 
and then um, let me know if I'm either touching you on both of your sides, just on your left or just on your right, okay? Ready? Close your eyes. a growth strength screen on you, is that right? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be placing my hands on you, is that okay as well? Yes. Alright, so I want to place your shoulder in this position, go ahead and mimic me on the other side. Good. So this will be like a little game, you're going to not let me move you, okay? I'm going to apply some pressure, and you're going to hold that position. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. So don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Any pain with those two? No. Don't let me move you. 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 Good. Mm -hmm. Do I move you? Oh, pain? That hurts a little right here. Okay. Hold this one. A mm, little bit. Okay. This one? Mm, don't move. Yeah. I'll move you. Okay. Good. Yeah. You gotta keep that arm out here. Mm -hmm. Can you Oh, here. Sorry. <laughs> there. Oh. Then. There. Ow, oh, that hurt. The one coming in hurt a little bit? Going out. Going out? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now we're just gonna try the other side. So, three, two, one. Do I move you? Don't move you. Don't move you. Okay, Dad, I'm going to be continuing the growth strength screen on your lower extremity, okay? Yes. Is it all right if I touch you? Yes. Perfect. So I'm going to place your leg in this position. I want you to hold it right here. Mm -hmm. Again, we're going to play that game. You're not going to let me move you no matter the pressure, okay? Mm -hmm. So don't let me move you. 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 Good. Don't let me move you. 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 Good. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Good. Good job. You in this position, okay? Mm -hmm. If you have any pain, please let me know. Mm -hmm. Don't let me move you. Oh, that kind of hurts. It hurts. Did it radiate up the leg? No. Okay. Don't let me move you. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> Don't let me move you. Okay. Did that hurt at all? Yeah. Okay. Don't let me move you. 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 Okay, Anastasia, I'm going to be testing your coordination. You ready? Yep. So with this side, what I want you to do is touch your nose, and then I want you to touch my finger, okay? Go ahead. Good. Okay, so we're going to try the same thing with your right side. You ready? Right. Okay. So I can do it, but it just feels a little, it hurts a yeah. little bit in your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to relax? So now what I want you to do, we're going to, uh, with both hands, okay, you're going to clap your hands back and forth as fast as you can, okay? Okay, very good. All right, now with your lower extremity, what I want you to do with this foot, you're going to run your heel up your shin. Can you show me that? Do it a couple times. Good. Okay, and so let's see the same thing with this side. Okay, very good. So now, I want you to sit in this chair, and okay, now with your feet, you're going to go ahead and bring your toes and heels up as fast as you can. Okay? How does that feel? With this foot, I feel like I can't go any further, like I'm stuck. When you lift your heel up? Yeah. Okay. Does it feel a little tight? Yeah. Okay, so next we're going to be testing some reflexes. So I just want you to relax as much as possible and try to hum your favorite song in your head. Okay. Relax. Leg. Now we're going to be doing a range of motion screen. So I'm going to have you bring your arm behind your shoulder and your other arm. And now your arm behind your back and the middle. Um, 
give yourself a hug. Then I'm gonna have you bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Oh, that hurts on my right arm. And then bring your arms back and out to the side. All right, and then I'm gonna have you um, bring your arms in this position. And I'm gonna have you bring your palms down and then bring them up. Does it hurt on your right side? Yeah, those ones hurt. All right, bring uh, your passive range of motion and spasticity. Turn into your lower extremity, so I'm gonna have you do a mountain climber, which is gonna go like this, and then you're gonna do the same thing with the other. Do you have any pain with that? No. Okay, now I'm gonna do your passive range of motion. We're going to be doing a palpation screen, so I'm just going to be um, touching you. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Just let me know if there's any pain with any of these, okay? Okay. Yeah, it's a little painful in there. Okay. What about there? Nope, that's all okay. Okay. Anything there? Nope. There? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna have you bring your arm um, behind your shoulder. Okay. Anything yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, right there. Right there, hurts. really painful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything there? No. Okay. What about there? Nope. Okay. Anything there? No. Okay. No. A little bit when you're talking. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, Anastasia, I'm gonna just be looking at your posture. So I just want you to march in place for me. Good, and then just stand how you would regularly stand, okay? Good, all right, Anastasia.
Anastasia, we're just going to be doing the rest of the posture screen. Megan's going to be the aide because I'm going to get up on the tables and push down on your shoulders. And in case you don't feel stable, Megan is there to help you, okay? Okay. All right, so I just want you to stand how you would normally stand. I'm just going to push down onto you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Anastasia, we're going to be doing a functional assessment. So I just want to watch how you walk, okay? Mm -hmm. Just walk normally. We're going to head towards that mirror. Okay. I'm going to walk alongside you. Pain? No, I just normally have to take breaks because my shoulder gets tired because it hurts so bad. Oh, okay. All right, take your time. Okay, so what I noticed in your gait was that um, you're holding the cane in my arm, but you are complaining of pain. So I'm going to have you switch hands when you're walking with your cane so that you'll be holding your cane in your left hand. Also, um, in your initial contact, you are kind of stepping on the side of your foot when you come down. So I'm going to have you try to step on the heel of your foot. That can kind of alleviate some pain that you're complaining um, with your plantar flexors. And also, um, with the cane in your left hand, you'll now be able to not use your right arm as much, which is what you're complaining of with your um, right shoulder flexion when you're reaching forward with your cane. Um, so I'll have you hold your cane in your left hand, and you're gonna bring your cane forward, and then bring your right foot, and then left foot, and then cane, right foot, left foot. So do you wanna try that now? Sure. So based on our screens and breakouts in our assessment, um, we have determined that you do have a subacromal impingement on your right shoulder. And because you are using your cane in your right hand when you walk, that's why you are having so much pain and difficulty with your gait. You were able to fully bear your weight into the cane um, because when you did bear your weight into the cane, you impinged on your subacromial contents. So your chromium process is right here, and it's like a little bridge, and under it lies some water. But in our case, it lies some tendons. Those tendons are soft, and they're not meant to be compressed. So when they are compressed, it causes a lot of pain. So in your cause, um, from prior research that me and my colleagues have done, we found that um, a lot of supraspinous tendons can be, a lot of subacromial impingements can be caused by the supraspinatus tendon, being impinged by the anterior one third of the acromion. So in your case, your super, supraspinatus runs from about here to here. Its muscle actions help with just lifting up to the side. And then when you say you're complaining of pain when you're lifting up, mm -hmm. we're just, um, that's just stating that you're just having pain with those muscles because they're being impinged anytime you're coming up to elevate. So to help you out, we do want to just address the um, muscles in the area with some myofascial and then as well as we want to address some of your posture um, You do have a little bit of a forward head posture So your head juts out a little bit So your muscles in the back need to be relaxed and strong in order to lift your head up from prior research We found that a lot of subacromial impingements do have um, forward head posture attached on with them and the forward head posture impinges again so it makes that bridge lower on those tendons and claps down on them in that posture. Um, do you have any questions for me or anything like that? Uh, no. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Okay. Would you be able to reiterate, reiterate that to any of your loved ones at home when you went back home? Yes. Perfect. All right, Anastasia. So I'm going to just do some soft tissue mobilization for you today. So basically what I'm going to do is called MFR, myofascial release. So I'm going to palpate the area and find a spot that you have a little bit more pain. And then I'm going to apply some pressure to that area and allow this spot of pain to melt away under my fingers. That way your pain should go away. Afterwards, you may feel tender for the next couple of days into three days possibly. 
Your skin might be a little bit red afterwards as well, but that'll all go away. I just wanna double check, you don't have any skin infections in the area or active infections in your body? No. You don't have any fractures, right? No. And then you're not on any blood thinning medication, right? No. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna have you lay down on your side, if that's okay with you, and have your right shoulder up. That way, that's the shoulder that I can work on. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna move your hair out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna start by palpating the muscles. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So as I'm palpating your supraspinatus muscle, can you tell me if you feel any specific areas where you have pain? Mm -hmm. Right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna check your myofascial area to see if you have any restrictions. All right, so when I'm on this spot, I'm going to hold down and it may hurt a little bit, but just let me know if it ever becomes too much, all right? Mm -hmm. So as I'm holding down on this spot, I can start to feel it melt away, literally like butter melts away under your fingers. Wow. Yeah, and that's how I know that I'm, what I'm doing is gonna work. All right, so when I can feel it, go away i'm going to keep making sure that i don't feel any other spots and since i don't feel other spots then you should be all set all right okay. how does it feel good thank you good you're welcome